Eat your vegetables, stay strong. Watson likes to eat corn on the cob. Eat your vegetables, stay strong. Veggies are the best thing for you. Carrots, radishes, beets, and turnips all go under the ground. Let's get started and draw them. It's going to be so much fun. Here's what you need today to make this veggie picture. You need a piece of paper, preferably white, and some crayons, colored pencils, or markers. Go gather your materials and meet me back here. The very first thing we're going to do today is we are going to take our brown and we are going to draw the line that shows the difference between underground and above ground. So I'm going to go about halfway up, maybe a little bit further down. Um, oh, I'd say it's pretty close to halfway. And I'm just going to take my brown, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to do a line across. And that's going to show me that everything under here is going to be the vegetables that are growing underground, and everything above is going to be those green leaves that are coming up, and then the background, which would be the sky. So I'm going to put my brown over here for now. And the next step we are going to do is we're going to draw the vegetables that we're choosing to do today. And what I've chosen, I've chosen to do a carrot, a beet, and a turnip. I believe that's what these ones are, but I could be wrong. You are welcome to choose other fruits, or not fruits, other vegetables if you want to. It's really your choice today, but these are the ones that I'm going to do. So I'm going to start with orange, and I'm going to do my carrot first going underground. And just a reminder, all carrots are a little bit different. Some are longer and skinnier, some are shorter and thicker. So um, however your carrot turns out, don't get frustrated. Some of your carrots might only come down to here, some might go all the way down to the end, and that is totally fine. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I am going to make my point on my carrot down at the bottom. And then you'll notice it gets skinnier at the bottom and it gets wider at the top. So as I go, it's going to get a little bit wider, and then I'm going to curve it around. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to get a little wider, and then I'm going to start to curve it in so at the top it looks like it is rounded. It's almost like um, a fish on its side here without the tail, right? Okay, let's put that back. The next one I'm going to do is going to be the beet, and I'm going to use a combination of pink and purple. And it's really up to you. If you don't have both of those colors, you could do a different color for your beet or just one of them. And I'm going to draw my beet with the pink today. And similar idea to the carrot, but notice the beet, it's a little wider or a little thicker on the sides, and it points at the top and the bottom. So this carrot only pointed at the bottom. At the top, it was more wide and round. The beet is pointy at the top and the bottom, and it has some roots at the bottom. So I'm going to do that right in the middle here. So take your finger and kind of give yourself a, a little um, imaginary idea of where the beet is going to go. I don't want to go all the way over here or else I won't have room for my third veggie, okay? So I'm going to go right in here. And I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to do my, my point. See how I did that? Okay. And then I'm going to plan it out. I'm going to say I want my beet to go down to about right here. And then I'm going to do my point down here. So I have my top and my bottom point. Now all I have to do is go around, okay? So I'm gonna go out and around and meet up with it. Same thing, out and around, meet up with it. All right, the both sides don't have to be identical. Mine are a little different. And then I'm gonna go down straight here and I'm gonna do a few fun little roots that are going down into the ground. We'll color that later. Let's go on to our third one. I am doing, I think, what is called a turnip, and I'm going to outline it in brown. And let's look at it first. Look at the shape of it. Shaped similar to a turnip, but it's smaller, or a beet, but it's smaller. And um, the top of it is not pointy, but and the bottom of it is not pointy. So it's more rounded on the sides. So I'm going to start on this side like this. And then I'm going to go out and around and up. All right, and then um, I need to grab a different color real quick here because I didn't do that earlier. So hold tight here. I don't know if I grabbed the color that I'm needing. Um, I did not actually. 
but that's okay. I am going to use a pencil instead right now just to show you that I want to add the roots in here. But I want to leave them, let me zoom in. More, see that? See how I did that? And I'm going to do that for each of my roots because the inside here, this part inside here is going to stay white or um, a tan color, okay, which I didn't get. So I'm going to leave it like that. I have my little roots in there. You'll see how I did that on that one. I used a tan color, but I'm not finding a tan crayon right now, um, which is not the end of the world. Okay. All right. So now let's go back to our orange and let's add, and you're going to press hard with your orange here. The outline of your carrot, you want to be dark orange. Okay. And then, you know how carrots kind of have those little lines on them? We want to add those in for our carrot. Okay. And then let's move to green and let's do the leaves that are going to be on the top because each of them are a bit different. If you look at them, they're all, they all have their own unique types of um, the greenery that comes up. So let's start with our carrot and we're going to take our green and we're going to do a straight line up and they can kind of curve a little bit. We'll add a few of them and some of you might add more some of you might have less maybe i'll do one over here some of them are longer some of them are shorter and then at the top of each of my um, green little stalks that are coming up i am going to take and do kind of like these little feathers that are kind of coming out and if you've ever seen the carrots when they grow they are real feathery these are kind of feathery little um, little leaves points that come out. So I'm just going to kind of add those in there. You might have a whole bunch. You might not have too many. It, they're all a little bit different. Okay. So we have leaves for our carrots. Let's move next to our beet. Look what we're doing. This is where we're going. Okay. So I'm going to do three leaves and I'm going to start right here. See, I'm doing that. Okay. And I'm going to go up and connect. Okay, let's do one on the other side here. Let's go this way. Okay, now watch, we want to make it pointy and then come around and meet it there. And then let's do one more right in the middle here, coming up. Voila! Last one. Let's do this one. Okay, these ones, look, they're the same shape as this one, but they're longer and skinnier. Okay, so I'm going to start with the one in the middle and I'm going to go up and then I'm going to curve it and then I'm going to go down. We're going to do two more. Okay, ready? Let's do this one. Up, point it and curve it and then down. One more. Up, point it and curve it and down. All right, now um, I am going to, before I forget, I am going to take my black crayon and I'm going to sign my name at the bottom because artists always sign their magnificent artwork. And now I get to spend some time coloring. Now you can choose to use a different color for the background. I chose this kind of turquoisey blue, um, but I would suggest doing brown for the ground for the dirt because I usually, usually dirt is brown. So I'm going to turn a little music on and I want you to color. I'm going to color and I hope you enjoyed this lesson today. Take your time, beat the white, and don't forget to eat your veggies.